James Karok is just 19 years old, but has already experienced a lifetime of pain, fighting as a child soldier in the civil war in South Sudan. He is one of the lucky ones though. Released by the armed forces in remote Pibor, James is back in school and earning 60 US dollars a week after being taught how to be a tailor. Members of the Security Council Working Group on Children in Armed Conflict are visiting South Sudan to hear from young people who have suffered most during the war. They are advocating for stronger protections and an end to gross violations including maiming and killing, rape and sexual violence, and the forcible recruitment of children. The war has taken a, a very, very big toll on the children of this country, um, and that scar remains deep. Um, so it's very important now to turn the corner to work very actively with these children. Children in South Sudan are also suffering from rampant intercommunal violence, including brutal incidents of cattle raiding, where many children are killed or abducted. So someone may go and, and get maybe a child and sell it to someone else who do not maybe have the child, then they exchange it with, with I mean they exchange with cows. It has become a business. You know, if it goes into that arrangement, it is very difficult to put it to an end in one day. <coughs> it requires a lot of muscle so that we really put this thing into an end. There is a need for more investment in schools and training opportunities to ensure that former soldiers learn how to support themselves rather than turning to criminality or fighting to survive. I think you also realise when you meet this, these kids and, and you see the work that, need, that, are, that is needed to fully reintegrate them, that there's a lot of resources necessary, a lot of time and patience um, and, um, and some of that, uh, some of those resources, I think, are still lacking, uh, especially in Pibor, as we saw today. It's there's still vulnerable, vulnerable uh, communities there. Schools are not really up and running the way they should be. So unless you get all that in, um, some of this work will not be uh, totally satisfactory. 17-year-old Jimmy was forced to go into the army after his father died, so he could support his family killing and so on. I've seen that if we kill somebody like you, it's not good. The reason why I've get out from arm. Providing counselling and psychosocial support for young people like Jimmy is vital, but there is a lack of funding to deal with the large numbers of children being demobilised. Despite their grim experience, there is hope. These young men, trained by veterinarian Sound Frontier Germany, to be animal health officers are guaranteed jobs, giving South Sudan's dependence on its cattle industry for economic survival. It is hoped that programs like this can be expanded so that many other South Sudanese children get the opportunity to achieve their dreams.